Hey everybody, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm going to be trying to do another speed run of Historic 15 wins, and it's with the same deck that I just showed, so you can imagine this should go pretty quickly, hopefully. Uh, first, we have some packs that we can open because, yay, platinum. That's what, three packs, I believe? Let's find out. Oh, and it's Zendikar Rising, too. That actually ends up kind of working out. We'll open these first, hoping to get a gold tier 4. Cool. A uh, Crag Crown Pathway, uh, so that we can use that here. Let's just really quickly try it out. Maybe. Hopefully. Because we can use them in the, the deck. We're, we're going to be doing uh, the El Tybalt's Shepherd deck. Uh, there's a Mythic. Cool. Cool. And that one uses Gruel Bands. So, we, we only have one. If we can pick up some more, that might make us a little bit more consistent. I'm doing a pack opening right at the beginning of a speedrun video, because that's... Oh, th that's actually decent, but not for what we're trying for. Okay. And then over in the store, we can try it again. See, the trick is that we have zero rare wild cards, and we won't for a hot minute. But, go into packs... There aren't any lands that we could use for what we're trying to do in Kaldheim. Uh, but, there's one in here, mm, not sure about you, one, uh, we're good for Ikoria, one in here. Uh, there's actually some other stuff I could use in Theris Beyond Death, so maybe we'll get Temple of Triumph. I think Temple of Triumph is in here, and if not, maybe we'll get something else. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. That's his intervention. Cool, goes in Jeskai Flash, or Mono Blue Flash, or Demir Flash, or whatever Flash deck I decide to use that in. So here's the deck, really quickly. This is <laughs> not Brawl Jota. <laughs> Yay for Historic Brawl. Uh, this is the Tibble's Trickery deck. For those that didn't happen to see the last video, basically, you cast Elasaurus Shepherd. It cannot be countered. Then you cast Tibble's Trickery. You hold priority, so full control. Uh, cast Tibble's Trickery, targeting Elasaurus Shepherd. This is a neat little spell. Counter it. Can't be countered, but you'll see. So choose one, two, or three at random. It's controller mills that many cards, so I'll mill one, two, or three cards. And then exile cards from the top of the library until I hit a non-land card with a different name than that spell. So not Allosaurus Shepherd. Well, as you can see, there are only three non-lands in the deck. Allosaurus Shepherd is right out because of Tibble's Trickery. That leaves Tibble's Trickery and Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger. If we hit Ulamog, we exile two of their permanents and win. If we hit Tibble's Trickery, we just do it again. Because this can't be countered, it's still on the stack, which is why we don't use something like Stone Coil Serpent, even though that would be faster. It, that's something that could be, go down as soon as turn two. Now, I could try to do a speedrun of this with Stone Coil Serpent and just YOLO it, but if I happen to play tr uh, Tybalt's Trickery and hit another Trickery, since Stone Coil Serpent has already resolved, it's done. So I would need... Uh, four Ulamogs, and even then it wouldn't be too terribly likely to go. So I'm just going to wait another turn so that I am guaranteed to go off. I say guaranteed. There are still weaknesses to this deck. If our opponent has turn one Thoughtseize, we're dead. <laughs> uh, if they have turn... If they have counter magic, period, we're dead. Now, this deck can actually use its cycling. You can use, like, say, Desert of the Fervent. Just anything that says cycling, along with... Uh, more cycling, scrying from Temple of Abandon, yeah, okay, so the good, it was Theris Beyond Death, perfect. Uh, more scry, uh, drawing with Cryptic Caves, it, it can try to draw itself through for another shot at it, but we aren't going to be doing any of that, and the reason is pretty simple, it's because this is a speed run, so if we don't have it immediately, we concede. The win-loss rate for this video is probably going to be terrible, but the time it takes for each individual round hopefully won't be that bad, because if we lose, we'll lose basically immediately, rather than having to draw it out for minutes at a time. Uh, so that's basically the idea. Uh, other than that, you know, the Ether Hub, Crypt, Mirrodin's Core make all our colors, but they take some setup. Uh, just about everything else, everything with two colors here, makes both of our colors. Uh, we have Forest and Mountain in place of three more Cragger and Pathway, three more Rootbound Crag, three more Sheltered Thickets, and three more Temple of Abandon. So this is not an idealized version of the deck. Ideally, we would have the rare wild cards to fill it up. And it's not even necessarily a bad investment if you're trying to get those rare wild cards, except for Shelter Thicket, because Gruul is definitely a thing in Standard, you may have noticed. So you can actually get some use out of them. All right. 
of all the days. <laughs> oh, well, where did my UI go? Hello? Oh, that's not good. Come back, come back. It's there. All right, just a sec. It gives me a chance to have some coffee, right? That's the that's the plan. That's what we're on about. Oh. And will I ever need some coffee? I in real time this one might be a longer speed run. Hopefully though, it won't take too much in game time. Beautiful art though in this set. That was pretty cool to look at. Move all the drinks over here. Okay, there we go. 20 blue or red spells. I think I've already tried to, yeah, already tried to cycle it into something else, so alas, that is what I'm stuck with. Blue or red spells, you say? Okay. Well, one more time. Timing begins when the ver X versus Y, T1 Glistener versus whoever else screen fades out, and it ends for a given round when the click to continue come option comes up. So that's, that's what I'm working with. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Just to be optimal, I suppose we could open one more pack and just hope that we manage to get there. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. Let's see. One more. Since we have the extra coins, I usually save... I, oh, there we go. Nailed it. I usually save coins uh, so that I can use them on gems, because it costs 2,000 gems for... 2,000 coins for 500 gems. Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, this is great for other reasons. <laughs> you can tell I haven't opened much of this set because we're still getting plenty of first, even in the commons. Thank goodness this isn't time. This is only timed with in-game time, not all the time in between. There are plenty of games like that. Uh, Dark Souls. GoldenEye, Perfect Dark, that just use in-game time, because it's there. Heck, Pokemon. <laughs> the, all the Pokemon games, I think, use in-game time. Well, no, they they did, and then they didn't, and then they did. I don't know how that worked. That, that's going... They've gone around on that. Okay, dear God, yes. Alright, fine, fine, fine. We can start off with the core, but we actually want to save that for last. Alright. Make sure the timer's running, good. There we go. So that it'll pass through the tranquil ticket. Oh, there we go. Alright. Hold, hold full control. Cast it. See how quickly I can do this. Hey, got it. Oh, I should have taken at least one of the creatures. No, no, it's it's okay. Because even if they attack a good bit, we'll be fine. Uh, because of the uh, the exile from your library trigger. Oh, yeah, we got there, we got there. Good, 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 good. All right, please. Okay. Finally, we got something. All right, we're on the board. We're on the board. All right. Now, it's zero to start at three deposit. All right, here we go. I'm trying to remind myself of my hotkeys. All right, we'll see how much longer that's going to take. It's going to take a while. If I have to keep mulliganing until I get it eventually, it's going to take a while. You'll notice though that the second round is 7.33, so we, we hopefully will be okay. Hopefully. Maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Yeah, 117, the fastest I've had around one was 27 seconds, where the opponent basically auto-conceded. So, uh, that, we're never getting that again. Just ever. But imagine if we could do that every round. We can't. But imagine if we could do that every round. Oy. If, if we win, we win quickly. If we lose, we know that we lose quickly so that we can concede early. You know, as you do. And if I, if I concede, it looks like my opponent sees me just 
you know, oh, they, they conceded because they just didn't have a good hand. That's okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we're off to a great start already. That is the one you definitely do not want to have. Keep. Send. Doesn't matter. That one. I better decide quickly. This is a speed run, you know. There's that. Actually, I should have gone mountain, then temple, so it wouldn't give me a chance to try to cast the Allosaurus Shepherd. Alright. I like the, the Boondocks Kaya sleeve. That's strictly the best one in the entire game. Right. And then... Auto-passing. Uh, one way you can lose is if you forget to uh, hit full control when it comes to your turn. That'll that'll do it to you. Oh yeah, actually, there's no reason for me to have auto-passing on anyway. I don't have any uh, cycling in my hand anymore. Ow. Right. Full control. Please concede. Right. Yep, there we go. Hey! We lost one. There it is. There it is. Right. We hit you and your white source. Please concede. Yeah, okay, it's coming back. That's fine. They still lose their auras. And their white mana. Alright, there we go. Oh, there we go. Forgot I need to hit enter there. Maybe we can win. I, I mean, I know we can win. Oh no, I swear. Okay, okay, okay. They're doing Thought Seeds first. Concede? Yes! Alright, alright, alright. Hello? Oh. Alright. Yeah, I hit it on my touchscreen, but I hit it a bit too early, so... Uh, we'll try to let it run a little bit longer. A split second longer to make up for that. But look at that timer! Jeez, look at that timer! Aha! All right, all right. Well, well, if 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 we can keep even close to this, then yeah. I I said last time I don't know how I'm gonna make sub one hour. That seems like it's gonna be really tough. That was with Is It Blitz, but uh, then this happened. So you know, thank you, Call Time. Maybe I can start the timer a bit early at the fade-out screen to make up for it. I mean, this is the most serious of all categories, so we need to make sure we're completely on the up and up. <laughs> you know, as you do. Yeah, a bit early. Hold. Keep. Uh, desert. Alright. Alright, that should pass us right along. Good. As you do. Control. Three. Oop, gotcha. Concede. And then I can just mash through from here. Alright. Yes! Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Got it that time. 430! Gold split! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, one thing to point out is that I'm not using my best splits. I'm using my splits from my best time, which is why you didn't see the 27 second one from earlier. I guess that's worth it. That's worthy of being pointed out. 430! 
<laughs> Another little fun thing about this deck is that you, you rarely have to actually kill the opponent. They'll concede, saving you some time. You rarely have to go through the motions. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah, Ulamog is silly. There's no path to exile in the in the format. Um, so you get to do stuff like this. Granted, Kaldheim did give us the ability to turn Ulamog into a 1-1 bird. We need to see people actually do it first, though. And they need to set up the mana for it and all that jazz. All right, Scarlet Johansson. Ooh. Five? Alright, keep. Oh. Uh, you know what? Let's go... Sheltered Thicket, Mountain... Alright. There we go. It's optimal to start off with the Mountain here. So that I can play Sheltered Thicket and not have to worry about holding up Tibble's Trickery. Ow. All right. This is a counterspell deck, potentially, so we could lose to that. It probably is. It almost certainly is a counterspell deck. What are you doing? It's tribal wizards? What are you? A spirit. Okay, no. Pass it right along. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we're, we're dead. <laughs> I have a feeling this is not going to work out. We'll still go for it, but yeah, no, we're in trouble. All right, or, or, opt here. All right, okay, so they can't do sensor anymore. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, never mind. We're fine. We win. GG. Alright. They went for it, and I can't blame them, but... Ooh. Alright. Where are you? Tibble's Trickery into Tibble's Trickery. Hit it. Resolve. There we are. Alright. And we just mash through. We could lose to Unsummon. I'm trying to think of what we could still lose to. Alright. Interesting. Why am I even bothering with this? Okay. Alright. Make the mill a whole bunch of cards. Alright. Ow. There we go. You're gonna make me do it. Alright. And that should pass it right along. Okay. How many cards are left? Alright. Uh, it's slow. Maybe we can make something happen. Maybe. 34. Wait, wait, wait. They just attacked me with the, uh, you know what, sure. Alright. They attacked me with an 04. Whee! Block with the one two. Nope, never mind. Not even worried about it. Alright. I should just pass it here. And I will. Oh, I guess I want to put the counter on Mirrodin's core so that it takes less time. Alright, what you got? Alright, we got there. That was slow. That's a slow win, mind you. We actually lost a bit of time there, didn't we? Minus 429? Okay. I mean, that's that's okay. That's, that's fine. 
832. Yeah, now that we can't quit out, I'm waiting for another rut like we got at the beginning there. It's bound to happen. The furthest that I'll mulligan down to is two cards. If I get it within, if I don't get it within mulling to two, we'll concede. We'll just concede on the spot. Four rounds. Yeah, at this rate, we could just about do sub 30, couldn't we? I mean, granted, that's if we just win straight out and we don't have another round like that, right? Like, even if we have a round like that, if we don't have a round like that more than a quarter of the time, we'll be okay. We could maybe, maybe pull out sub 30. That would be fun. That would be really fun. All right. Zimroda. Zimroda? Zimroda. Zimroda! Six. Five. Okay. Send back Mirrodin's core because it's slow and a mountain. We're good to go. No, 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 no. Don't say hello because that can slow them down. If it seems like I'm being a jerk, I don't mean to be. Ketri Triumph makes it look like I might just maybe be on something else. Plus, it's tapped, so it won't hold up Chibble's Trickery for me. Uh oh. Play something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cast something. Please. No! Okay, crap. Crap, we're in trouble. Alright, full control. Alright, don't have it, please. Please don't have it. That happened. That was bound to happen at some point. All right, there we go. Yep, paused us. All right. Yeah, I mean, that was it, bound to happen. Just even soft counter match. I thought about trying to wait another turn to play out something, uh, to play the tap land first, give us some soft mana. Um, but I didn't know. It could be Dovin's Veto. It could be a bunch of stuff. And I wasn't sure if taking the extra turn was worth the risk. Because if we, if we lose anyway, once they get to three mana and they have absorbed, for instance, then we just shot ourselves in the foot there, right? All right. Well, whale. Whale. That can happen. If we're going to lose to something like that, I would much rather it be turn one thought sees, where we can just know right off the bat. It sounds like a creaking door in a haunted house. Listen to this. Or apartment neighbors that are entirely too loud. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Make sure the timer's running. Okay, good. And on a time when we actually could keep it. That's a shame. Six. Five. Four. Uh oh. Three. Two. Alright. There right, we go. Eh. Woo! <laughs> we'll see how it, at least it didn't take long, for what it's worth. Yeah, I, I had a sneaking suspicion. Whenever I see the opponent not play something turn two like that, I had a sneaking suspicion we might not make it. They did the right thing. They, they correctly read what we were on, which is broken stuff. We were on broken stuff. What, tribal flyers, I guess? You know, the, the Wing Words Lofty Denial bunch of creatures deck. Oh, 
there's also the plus two, plus two, and untap creatures you control flying, you know. Yeah, that, that bit. There's also that. And I think besides that, it's just creatures. Do those decks ever run green for Coco? I suppose that they could, but you know, green's not known for its flyers. Six. Five. Four. Three. All right. Yeah, uh, uh, we were bound to hit this little pocket, unfortunately. You know, it's bound to happen. And then I go over to OBS to make sure that we are actually recording. A few days ago, I ended up accidentally hitting start streaming instead of start recording. So there was a, it's now unlisted, a video of just five seconds of MTG Arena. No camera, no audio, or no microphone anyway, just MTG Arena. That's it. Ulterior Jay. Hi! Hi, Jay. I like your name. Six? Five? Four? Three? Uh-oh. Two. I like the little uh, doge in the background, cheering them on. Yeah, it's cutting into our time a bit. A bit. But it saves us from having a long loss, so it'll be worth it. Oh, jeez. I was quick. Power of Evil. Didn't capitalize the O and of. Six. Five. Four, three, all right. Woo! Power of Evil wins again. No! Are we the baddies? Yes, yes you are. All right, that was, what, 18 seconds? I think we were at 424 when that round started. All right, so if it's about 20 seconds each time, 20 seconds per not being able to keep the hand. Yeah, sub 30 is, I guess, possible. Not at this rate. Then again, one, the round four was one that took a while to actually win. On the other hand, we had a round where we took a while and still lost, so... Mm, yeah, probably not. Not realistically. Yeah. If I could manage to squeeze out a few really fast ones, then let's just shoot for sub-45 right now. If we can make it through round five in fewer than 15 minutes, then sub-45 is a little more realistic, I suppose. Hi, Zim. <laughs> Invader Zim. All right. Not the two that we're looking for. Right. Six. Five. Four. This might be the same deck. Three. No fewer than two. Alright, there we are. Uh-oh, uh-oh, folks. Uh, our lead is dissipating very rapidly at this point. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no! Our lead over ourselves. I guess for what it's worth, we did have a fantastic uh, first set when we were doing Is It Blitz last time. So 1536 there looked like we were just going to be shy of 45 minutes as well. We didn't end up that way, we ended up at 1 hour 6. So I suspect that this run is going to go somewhat the same way decently fast start, and then slows down as it goes on. The main reason for that is that, well, one of the reasons for that is that you can reset before round one concludes, you can't do it thereafter. You just kind of have to take what you get. So, yeah, there you go. I think 
Thankfully, we're far enough away that you can't hear the sound of my neck popping. Alejandroga. Let's go with that. Alright. Oh, what, what, okay. Funny when it does that. Like it hasn't loaded our hand or something? I'm not sure. Alright. Please. Yes, okay, cool. Uh, Mirrodin's core, because it's slow. Cauldron familiar, okay. We could actually still lose this one. If it is what I think it is, we could still lose it. Uh oh. Alright. Scorpion! Scorpion! Ah! Never mind, we should be okay. Alright. Maybe we can ooh, trick our opponent into thinking we're playing something weirder than we already are. Uh oh. We want to play Forest, Full Control, Tibble's Trickery, hit it. Alright. Yes. Hit their mana, Conceit. Oops. Alright. Do they have anything that they can do here to that? Now we just mash through it. Yeah, they'll gain one life, that's cool. Yes! Okay, finally! Fantastic. Alright. Uh, we still beat 15 minutes, but that's... That could have gone way better than it did. Alright, let's see what we got. Ascent of the Worthy. Pause 10 AP if you'd like. I don't know what this is. It looks cool. I'll try to find a way to break it later, I guess. I don't know. So we're a third of the way done, and... In game time, we're at fewer than 14 minutes. I can live with that. Oh, we have 42. We have a uh, an old school meme number. It's an old meme, but it checks out. <laughs> I suppose. Shoutouts to Douglas Adams. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now it's a meme number if you add a zero to the end of it, because... Nice. That's I know, nice is a different one, but I don't know what you say to... What do you say to 420? To, like, confirm that you understand it's a meme reference? 69 is nice. You just say, uh, high five, I don't know, <laughs> something with high in it, I guess. Alright, fewer rounds like that, please. Or, or more rounds like that, fewer rounds like the ones before. Please, por favor. That was a spectacular time loss. Jeez. And yet still didn't take us all that long. The, the next bit for us to go through is 7 minutes and 4 seconds. Alright, hi Monica. Monica. I'm gonna say Monica. Alright, 6. 5. 4. 3. Nope! Nope. 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 This may not be the most fun thing to watch. And if this card gets banned in Historic, I'm not sure what that's going to do for the run. We might have to create like an old patch category. <laughs> like you do in, in other speedruns, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Well, then there wouldn't be. There is no old patch cat, because it's not like you can go back to a previous category on MTG Arena. Like, uh the unpatched version of the game to play, <laughs> you kind of can't do that. So I don't, I don't know what that would do. Huh. Jeez. Now, if we were doing this for in-game, if we were doing this for real-time, this, this would be some the weirdest RNG manipulation. You want to make sure that you do the run when the U.S. is awake, so that you have the shortest wait times, I guess, would be how you'd want to do it. Also, I'd be running Is It Blitz, if that were, if I were doing this in real time. Man. Alright. That's a go. Nope. 
six. Five. Oh, oh, okay. Cool, cool. They they conceded. Oh, they know. They probably knew what we're on, right? <laughs> when they see me conceding or uh, mulliganing like that, they probably knew that we were on something silly. I think that's what that means, right? Uh, we're back to a good old gold split. See, we didn't even have to win. We just got <laughs> super lucky there. The threat of the of the silly combo deck. Now. In standard, I've seen people try to make this work with Stone Cold Serpent, uh, and that's fun, but of course, that has the weakness of fizzling a decent percentage of the time. But, you know, if you're just trying to get quick little wins in the standard, in the casual queue, the unranked queue, I, I guess it's a thing. Actually, no, it's not really great for building a quest, is it? It's fine for just building up quick wins, but not doing your quest. Even if you have, say, like a, a red quest, cast X number of red spells, you only get one a game if you actually win, right? Oh, hi again! Please concede, because you know what I'm on. Alright. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Alright. Woo! <laughs> the weirdest behavior. Why is this T1 Glistener Elf guy? Isn't that the Tom Ross video, dude? Why is he conceding a bunch? Well, <laughs> well, say hi to YouTube, I guess. If this doesn't go miserably now, say hi to YouTube. Oh wait, this is Arena. This is in a post-trolling world where you can't allow people to just chat anymore. Hi, Zim. Six. Five? Uh, Alright, we're good. We're good. Desert, forest, go. Alright, so we want to go mountain, triome, forest. Right. Made sure the timer's still running. And that we're on the right round. Alright, we're good. Mountain, and we're that way we keep untapped green mana out for as long as possible, or away as for as long as possible. Now, I'm not actually sure if Zim is someone that's seen what I was on. No, I conceded against Zim, didn't I? I mulliganed into oblivion and conceded, I think. In which case, Zim doesn't know what I'm on. Oh, please decide. Please. No. Okay, okay, that's good, that's better. No, speed up, speed up. I'm just gonna already have it out. Hello, can you, oh no, you, you did some, all right. It looks like they held control on my upkeep maybe. All right, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Maybe this is someone who holds full control. Oops, that's not a good time to do it. In a speed run. Ooh, I like it. I like it. I don't know what they're doing, but I like <gasps> They're doing the same thing! Okay, now they can actually miss, though. All right, let's see if they miss. All right, they have a chance of missing. Yes, yes, they missed! All right, if they hit Tibble's Trickery, then they're done. Okay, are you... You're not gonna concede? Okay, well then I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it for you. This was awfully slow. This might be why they're doing full, hold full control, because they don't want to accidentally miss it. Uh oh. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, but, you know, it, it's, it's fair enough, I suppose. Ah, yes! Okay, okay, okay. Got there. Alright. <laughs> okay, well we found the mirror. They have a faster version of the deck, but unfortunately it, it has that inconsistency. That's the reason why we're going with Allosaurus Shepherd. Red Cat Melee. Thank you, Throne. 
Toasty! Silly video game references. Toasty! My back. All right. So we're just about at the halfway point, and we're five minutes ahead of schedule. For now. Uh, I see some big jumps coming up later on, though, so hopefully we can make up even more time. You know, we've got a ten-minute jump coming up, or just about 9.54. That'll be fun to try to make up. <laughs> All right. Secrets. I don't think I've played you today. Touch screen. Five, four, three, uh uh. Uh uh. There we go. Yeah, that's quite the showing. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Oh well. I am convinced that there's a version of this deck that you can play in ranked. Uh, if you optimize the land base to have ways to try to reload so you can go off again, then yes, by all means, go for it. Uh, I think that the versions with Stone Cold Serpent or Ugin's Conjurant are too slow, but I guess on the bright side, Stone Cold Serpent could actually win on its own if you just absolutely are in a pinch and your opponent can't do anything. For some reason, they can't do anything. They, they used their one spell interacting with you, uh, with your combo, and then spent the rest of it, uh, not, <laughs> I guess. Oh, hi again. Hi again, again. Uh-oh. The rare all-land hand. Arena doesn't usually give me one of those. Five. Four, three, two, all right. Whee! All right, there we go. Huh. Well, <laughs> I wish I had more to say during this time. If this were something I were doing live, I would get distracted so often it would mess up my time. But if this were something I were doing live, I could have chat over here, you know, Distract. I mean, uh, keeping me occupied during the during these trying times. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. With all this said, we're still just shy of seven minutes away from the next split. <sighs> yeah, sub sub thirty looks out of reach, unless we just get some god hands going forward. But sub forty five still looks more than reasonable. Jeez, we are going to optimize the heck out of this category. Then again, I will say that one one type of speedrun I'm not a big fan of... It, or it, so if you speedrun Minecraft, apparently on speedruns.com it's the most run game. The most recent category has... well, all the Minecraft categories I think have a good bit of luck, but the most recent one, patch 1.16 and on, has stupid... Amount, oh, oh, same person. Oh. Oh, no. Amounts of luck. Four, three, two. Okay. I'm sorry, Manaka. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not giving you a great experience on here, am I? I'm sorry. There is a person sitting on the other side of the of the screen, so I, I hate doing that. Uh, suffice it to say that there is a ton of RNG in that game, and uh, unless you're playing Set Seed, which is you can make the world, you can predetermine what the world's going to look like. If you don't, there's a lot of randomness, and I, I know that for some people that's a good thing. They like having a different puzzle to solve every time. I don't. Uh, so I imagine if I had to run this deck over and over trying to get PBs, I would probably hate myself, <laughs> because there's just so much luck that goes into it, unfortunately. Having to grind for it would be a bit of an issue. All right, Jinrei. Six. Hmm. 
Maybe. Come on. There's the like inner conspiracy theorist in me that thinks that maybe they know that I'm running and that they're being slow. I know that's not actually a thing. That's not. I don't broadcast that I'm doing this. <laughs> um, it probably wouldn't make a difference anyway. But no, that that's not a thing. Hurry. Maybe I should just concede here. I probably should. If for what somehow they manage to be completely AFK, oh boy, the longer I wait, if if they're completely AFK, and no 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 no, we we need to concede here. Yeah, we need to concede. If they're just going to be completely AFK. That'll take too much time. That's an odd situation to be in. Yeah, and the longer I wait, the harder it gets. Please, not the same. Hey, Zam again. We're seeing, it's a TV show. We're seeing the same, it's the recurring cast. All right, six. Ooh, mm. oh, great. Alright, going down to four. Is Zim on the same deck by chance? I don't actually remember. Have we even completed a game against Zim yet? <laughs> I, I wish I could tell you. Alright. 4.52 left. Uh-oh. 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 How do you do the banjo voice? Go uh oh <laughs> There's a speedrunner for Super Mario 64 named Cheese who can do a decent number of the voices in banjo co voices in banjo kazooie. It's it's his banjo voice is great. The the kazooie trill, that's tough to do, but he's Spanish. Uh, so he he has he speaks Spanish and he's from Spain. Both are true. So he has to get used to doing the trill anyway. I don't know. I can't make myself do that. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. I need to get used to it, though. Oh, a new person! Ethnograph. Alright. Hope to give you some sort of showing. Oh, yep, okay, cool. And Mirrodin's Core. We're going to go Mountain, Desert, Forest. Or I guess Mountain, Desert, yeah, Mountain, Desert, Forest. Or I guess I could have done Desert, actually, first. That's fine. <sighs> I'm fighting the urge to uh, say hello, because that's I like to do that. Oh, this is the Death Touch deck. Oh, hi, Death Touch. Ulamog is indestructible. Alright, have it. Do you have the uh, Poison Lord? Yep, Finn. Not a Lord, but you know, you get the idea. Alright, this is gonna be awfully quick though. Oh, we could actually still lose this! No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Uh, Ulama can just exile Finn, and then we'll be fine. Finn and a land. Meyer Triton, okay, that's fine. Oh, we have Forgotten Cave. Hold full control. Get you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the, the itch. The itch is real. Alright. Do it again. Make sure you don't hit the wrong one. Hey, Ulamog. Okay. So we have to exile Finn here. Otherwise, we're, we're about to lose. Finn and a forest in case they have another one. And we just mash through. All right, this looks good. Oh, great! There's another one. Great. Oh no, it's Luris. Okay, okay. We actually are in in a bit of trouble still. Right. All right. 
Should have done the thicket first. Alright, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Don't have it. Please don't have it. Don't have another one. Okay, what you got? It's okay, they're gonna pop it again, but that's fine. Yeah, oh, we're, we're in... Wait a minute, no, 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 that, that's okay. So unless they play another Death Touch creature here, Finn on his own won't be enough. Don't unsummon me. That seems weird in a Lurus deck, but I guess it could be a thing. In a Lurus Death Touch deck, Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Also, they would have done it there if they had it. All right. One more hit and they're and they're done skis. I have a sea shanty stuck in my head now. Alright, please. For the love of God, please. Okay. Don't don't have anything. Please. I don't know why I gave myself the two there. I'm I'm worried, folks. They haven't conceded yet, and I think that that means they have something. All right, so Finn and anything with haste or double strike. Okay, okay. Oh my God, I was scared for no good reason. All right. Oh crap! I thought it. What are you doing? Why is it still going? Oh, because I didn't hit the three. All right, all right. We're just going to have to eat the time loss there. I hit, so in order to pause the timer, I have to hit zero, three. Oh, but look at that time. <sighs> I don't know, hmm, how far off were we? Maybe two seconds? I can try to eat back into it, um, or I can try to fix it later on, but uh, if I let it run for about two seconds, maybe I'll be right. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to accidentally uh, keep it uh, keep it still for too long though, and mess the whole thing up. Yeah. Yeah, if this were a regular run, like a real-time run, I could just hit zero and be done with it. But I have to hit pause as well. Zim, hi, maybe I'll get one against you. Alright. Oh, well, never mind, it's a draw. What happened? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, so that that's a thing, I guess. Okay, we'll say that that made up for it, I suppose. <laughs> I don't actually know. Hopefully. I'll, I'll watch this back in post and see if I... As long as I didn't keep it still for too long, we're good, I guess. If, if, I, was, if I were too short with it and ate a time loss as a result, that's fine. I'll live. It'll be okay. This is the most serious of speedrun categories, after all. But I wouldn't like to go too far in the other direction. Or I wouldn't like to go in the other direction at all. Yeah. Alternatively, alternatively I could have just used my video editor's timer to see what the difference between them was, but then people would just have to take my word for it. Well, or time it themselves, which seems fun. You can do that on YouTube. You can frame advance on YouTube. Fun fact. Uh, you use, uh, I guess this is greater than or less than to go back and forth. Okay. Hi, Zim. Long time no see. Here we are. You have... Do you have any idea what I'm running? Have I kept a single time against you by chance? I wouldn't swear by it. I don't actually think that I have. Five? 
four. All right, now the biggest weakness of the deck is other people doing the same stupid thing. Three, uh oh. Alright, 24, 30. So we're, we're still almost 10 minutes ahead of schedule. We're okay. We'll make it. There's my, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Good night. I'm just gonna close my eyes while we're having to wait between rounds. Make sure my finger's on the button, on the unpause button, so that when I wake up, I'll accidentally hit the button and ruin the whole run. <laughs> a speed one, a speed run where the timer is reversed, where it's only running when you're in between rounds. <laughs> Oops. That would be something I would do. It is kind of late here, actually, so... I Orca underscore 999. I've seen you before. Just not today. Not in the run. I need to figure Hey! Some RNG manipulation for this. So for the purpose of the speed run, maybe cryptic caves should just be another forest or mountain. Or, you know, there's two cryptic caves, so one of each just to improve the color consistency of the deck. I suppose that that's probably right. Don't say hello. Whatever you do, Jay, don't say hello. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. GG. GG. We can wait for one more draw step to see if we happen to get it, but it's so unlikely to work. Yeah, we, when we see thought seeds, we just auto-concede. Had to make sure it was stopped. Oh yeah, you can't see. I'm furiously alt tabbing to make sure that live split because I can't see live split unless I alt tab over to it. So you can see it. I can't. Um, just making sure that the timer is the way that it should be. T one Glistener cat. T one Glistener elf is a cat boy now. Evangeline has rubbed off onto me. Not I rubbed, rubbed off onto her. She's rubbed off onto me. Beef Slayer. Is that an innuendo? That's totally an innuendo, right? I think. Oh, finally. Thank goodness. Oh, wrong one. Should have done stomping ground. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Whatever works, it's fine. All right. I'll play the desert so that they might get an inkling that I'm on some sort of weird... Uh, cycling deck. Hopefully. No, don't hold. It's energy, so hopefully they'll just play out their hand. This is perfect. We got to keep seven, and we were on the play. Alright, so we're good. GG. And make sure we're still on full control. Alright. And you can just mash through that. Tibble's Trickery, target you. I haven't ever been in a spot when we've lost to the Tibble's Trickery milling all the Ulamogs. But I guess it's not impossible. Oh, there's one. There, we, there's the other. Okay, good. Yep, okay, good, good, good. We got there. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 754. We're back. We're back, baby. We're never ever beating this this deck. We might beat this time, but not with another deck we're not. <laughs> Jeez. Lord have mercy. I'm from the, the south, so bless our heart. <laughs> that sort of thing, you know. As you do. As you do. being all countrified over here. <laughs> I don't know. When I when I get to like not thinking about the way that I sound, it definitely the the accent definitely comes out. <laughs> uh, it's fine. 
fine. It's fine. Paladin, hey. Make sure I didn't accidentally go a little further. Too far. Oh, 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 don't concede, don't concede. We're gonna keep it. Alright, oh, there we are. Oh boy! Oh boy, I've not... So far in the speedrun, I've not kept a hand like this. There's so there's 50 lands in the deck. We're decently likely for it to work out. Uh, this I should concede. I'm seeing Simic. All right, so growth spiral. We're not gonna make this. This is not going to work out for us. I can already tell. But YOLO. Simic Ascendancy. Never mind, this is a weird deck. We might. Oh no, it's tapped. Alright. To be fair, most of the lands in the deck do come in tapped. One advantage to having so many basics is that they come in untapped. Uh oh. Put that many growth counters. Hungering Hydra. Okay. How are we going to do this? It's not impossible that they could win from here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. They, they did not think that they could. Even with that kind of a start. 15 minute gold split! <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. I'm a little happy. Just a lot. Ah, 15 minute gold split. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're getting new people. That's awesome. Nope. And we did it on a mold of two, mind you folks. Uh, you saw an on camera mold of two. That worked. <laughs> Welcome to Vintage. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. An odd camera mold too. All right. One to five. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. All right. Uh, there we go. Rootbound crag stays. Everything else goes. It's a fire sale. Everything else must go. Everything must go. Oh jeez. Judging by the sleeves, treasure hunt? What on oh oh okay. Uh, maybe they had the same exact thing going on. Look at this gold split. Uh, now, granted, we went from win to win in the is it blitz, but 1650. Uh -huh. Ah <laughs> ha Alright. Sub 45, let's go. Sub 45, let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was thinking of not going on with a video today, with a, a camera, but I, I'm glad I did. You <laughs> get to see the silly reactions. Maybe going with a, a audio, but not a video, but nah, we're fine. We're fine. We're okay. Hi. I'm so sorry, Zim. I'm so sorry. Uh, top 10 recurring characters in anime. Okay, we finally get to keep against Zim. Finally. And it only took us this long. Zim, I am so sorry. <laughs> you, you have to know what we're doing, right? I've only played you 60 trillion times. You have to know what's going on here. I we I don't actually know if I've played you yet. Oh god, they went to one. Alright, well, okay, there's one Ulamog. It's not good. It's it's possible we could fizzle. I'll, I'll need to pay attention when we're resolving our Tibbles trickeries. Tibbles trickeries. I know what I meant. OK, 
Okay. Oh yeah, th we have played Zim, haven't we? Alright. Please concede. You know what's happening. You know what's going on. Alright. Uh-oh. Okay. Yes, yes, we got it. We did not lose to, uh, Fizzling. Yes, okay, okay. Sorry, Zim. I'm sorry. Jeez, a 2024. <laughs> this deck is broken. Best speedrun deck ever. Jeez. Uh, if you really hate yourself, you could do a fast. You could do a version that saves a turn by playing Stone Coil or Ugin's Conjurant. Note to self, Jay, don't forget Zim is running this deck as well, albeit the mono red variant. Which, to be fair, is a lot cheaper. Ugin's Conjurant is, I believe, an uncommon, if I remember correctly. So, you need the four rares, four uncommons, Ulamogs, however many. Hopefully you got, like me, the anth uh, historic anthology. Anthoric histology, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. And you just put a bunch of basic mountains, and maybe the cycling ones, and ta-da! <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. We only have three more rounds to go, folks. Look at that time. Look at that time. Ah. Uh, just a sip. Hmm. Way over there. Boop. We're totally out of coffee. No, we're not. I have even more. <laughs> I have even... Hi, Paladin. Okay. You do know what we're on, though. I believe I recall that. Alright. Yeah. Mull. 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 Three. Two. Can see. Yeah. Ah, sorry, pal. Uh, pun intended. Pun completely intended. I'm a little sorry about that. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, win lot ra win loss ratio is terrible for this video. We won most of the games. We won maybe two thirds of the games we did with the Is It Blitz deck, thereabouts, I think. Uh, but nope, not here. Not here. Nope. Imagine trying to do this in historic, where people don't concede until like it's very done. Uh, no, also probably more thought seasons in his in. Rank, I would. Th I said historic, didn't I? In ranked, probably more thought seasons in ranked. Don't do this in ranked. I mean, don't speed run in ranked ever, ever under any circumstances. You will hate yourself <laughs> because they will take much longer. It's almost like a glitchless category for a speed run where the glitches let you save a ton of time. Well, and then glitchless, you have to just play it the way it was intended. Don't don't do that with this deck. I, again, though, I will probably be playing this in Historic Ranked. It's not optimal yet. I don't have the land base just right, so I might not... Unconscionable. Okay. Unconscionable. Ooh, uh, we have two, but not the right two. Wait, please? Just three more rounds, please. Arena, just just give me not terrible luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zim, for the four thousandth time. We'll, we'll we'll see you at this rate. We'll see you. Yeah, about four thousand more times before it's over. Because that's how this works. Case in point. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yep. Ooh. Hmm. As we both just mulligan into oblivion here. Alright, here comes five. Zim is actually an opponent I probably don't want to go against. Because, unfortunately, Zim is doing the same thing and might mulligan to oblivion themselves. Then again, at least we are giving Zim some wins. So I, I, at least there's that. We have that going for them. 
if we're going to make their life miserable, we, we might as well be doing something nice in the meantime. I suppose. Why do I keep playing against this one guy that just molds to two and then concedes that? Well, they they know part of the reason is because we're being a, we're doing a silly deck, playing a silly deck. They don't know this for a speed run. Megatron, Alice, top tier names. Ugin seems like the right avatar for someone named Megatron Alice. Shouts to Alice from Toho. I am a, I am a Toho fan, just a lot. The weebiest of the weebs, I think, is, is how that works. Oh my god, are you doing the same thing? One more. Once more with feeling. Nope. Woo! Once more with feeling. Yeah, yeah, about that. About that. Oh, uh, come on, come on, Arena. Just, just a little bit more. I just need three more wins, please. Just three more wins. You can do this. I know you can do this. Come on. Come on, Arena Shuffler. Please. Have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floor. Oh, my God. We're at that time of night where I'm getting so delirious that I'm referencing the faces of evil. Hi, Zim! <laughs> Hello. Again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Why? Six? Five? Four. We could still lose to them, actually. Their deck goes off a turn before ours does. Three. Oh boy. Yeah, okay, that's it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Zim. At least you're getting some wins off of this. If nothing else, you're racking up the wins, and when you get your 15 or however many, then uh, you can make yourself a nice cup of coffee, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to do something about this set. Uh, Shoutouts, by the way, to Chris Long. He actually gave me a green screen that I can use. You can't see because of where the camera is, how it's zoomed in and whatnot. Uh, there is no room around here for a green screen unfolded all the way so that there isn't there aren't shadows, or wrinkles, uh, which is why I haven't been using it. We've been using the lights he gave me, which Chris, thank you a ton for that. I've been using those since you got me them. I need to find a place to put a green screen. Uh, that doesn't involve, well, no. The only place I can think of, it would require me taking it down, and putting it up, taking it down, putting it up, taking it down, over and over again. And for a green screen, I don't think you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to, as best you can, not use it a whole lot, because you'll ruin it if you keep doing that. That's my understanding. R ruin it, I mean, like, you'll get it to the point where it won't work for you anymore. Oh my god. Good music for this game, at least. Okay, nope. Nope. Pop. It looks like Kikoken in the in their name. Shouts to Chun-Li from Street Fighter, the Kikoken master. Kikoken. Kikoken. So Chun-Li is Evangeline's favorite character, um, well, I say that, her favorite character to play in Street Fighter V is Nash, because she, she knows how to teleport with him and she loves doing it. She doesn't have a clue how to do the character other than that, but Nash in Street Fighter V, thankfully, isn't like a, a Guile clone, he's not just like a, another charge character. Chun-Li is, and while I can occasionally get her to do motion, like fighting game motions, 
I cannot for the life of me teach her how to do a charge motion. Uh, she doesn't get the... She hasn't wrapped her mind around the concept of hold back and then, you know, flash it forward, or hold down and then flash it up, uh, which you kind of have to do to be a Chun-Li player. She, that's how you get access to her projectile, and spinning bird kick is not... It, it, it has its use. Six. Five. Oh, okay, cool. Which is punishing unsafe stuff on shield. A uh, spinning bird kick is great for that. Alright, here we go. Or, not on shield, on block. I'm saying on shield because I'm used to playing Smash Bros. If someone does something unsafe to you, like way up close, and you get to you do Chun Li's version of a Shoto kill, a Shoto killer, like Guile's Shoto killer. All right, come on. Okay, well since I said that, we've gone against Zim three times. Top ten recurring characters in anime. Hey. I'm just gonna mash here. Get that frame one keep. Alright, let's send a desert down to the bottom. Alright, so they know. They know. Since I kept, they know that they need to actually have it. Yes! Alright, oh good, good. So we conditioned. That's what happened. We conditioned Zim into thinking if we keep a hand. Oh, maybe I should try that next time. Just keep a seven. If I see Zim again, I should just keep a 7 and see if they, uh, if they concede immediately. The magic mirror. Oh my goodness, that would be silly. Let, let's try it. Let's, let's try it. Worst case scenario, we at least save time mulliganing further. Like, instead of going b below 7. And, uh, if they, if they don't concede, we can concede. Of course, it'll give away that we can't do that in the future. Jeez, I'm so sorry, Zim. I'm so sorry. I, I hope you find this video and, uh, and see the, the silliness going on here. I, I hope. <laughs> I just... Shoutouts to Zim, whoever you are. I'm gonna go on Twitter and see if I can find MTG Zim or something like that. See if anyone can, can uh, tell me who that is. Because that looks, that looks great. I'm gonna go back to the, the Discord servers, the MTG Discord servers I'm in, and look to see if there's anyone with Zim in their tag. Hey, was this you? <laughs> oh my goodness. You, Zim, you get a, uh, you get a friend. Oh my good, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it right now. Let's go. Let's go. Keep. Oh, can we do it? 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 Please, please tell me this this works. Also, I just want to get Zim two times in a row. All right, are you keeping or? Oh boy, because obviously this hand is completely unplayable. All right, <laughs> I tried. I tried, folks. Zim, you're too smart. You're too smart. You didn't fall for it. <laughs> oh, oh, I tried. Alright, that was cool. You win this round, Zim. You win this round. Why Why am I doing stuff like that in a speedrun? I hoped, maybe, just maybe, we could make that work. <laughs> it actually probably didn't save that much time anyway, because Zim molds further... No, that might have actually saved us time, because Zim molds so far. Um, that, that would have taken time had we just waited through it. Well, maybe there's nobody else on MTG Arena in the casual queue right now. Maybe, because we just played Zim twice in a row. It's just you and me. It's just you and me on the most degenerate deck on his, in Historic right now. <sighs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> you know what? Uh, what's the, the line from Watchmen? Uh, it's, I'm not trapped in here with Zim, Zim is trapped in here with me. <laughs> How long has this been going on? An hour and a half, and yet look at that live split timer. 
Is it not Zam? There's no one else on Arena right now. Alright. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. There's no one else. At least you're going to get some quick wins here, Zim. At least, if nothing else, you're about to get some quick wins. I'm going to go on Twitter and see Zim talking about some Glistener Elf conceding a punch. <laughs> Alright, come on. What are you deciding? I know what you're on. Well, I think I know what you're on, unless you've changed. I'm going to assume you haven't because you were just on that deck. You were just on the multi two deck. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. What are we at now? Three cards left? So I can do it one more time. I should just concede here. It's pretty unlikely we're going to get it. Nope, nope, we got it. Okay, cool. Oh boy! <clears throat> I wonder what the two cards in my hand are. Alright, there we go. Do you have it? Do it, do it, do it. Alright, it is likely that they will win here. They have a, I think, 4 in 7 chance if they have 4 Ugin uh, Ceaseless Hunger. They have a 4 in 7 chance because there's 3 more uh, Tybalt's Trickery and there's Ugin. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright. They beat me. They beat me. Like, legit beat me. Woo! Yeah, I didn't feel that one going too well. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, so I wasn't kidding. It, it was actually likely that they would. Uh, so. I'm gonna... I, I should get out my phone, since apparently there's no one else on Arena right now. I probably have time to go get my phone and, uh... Check. Where is my... Oh, here you are. I'm gonna check Twitter in the middle of a speed run. See if there's any... <laughs> see if I can find out who Zim is. Since there's nothing else I can do at this point, we're just going to keep playing Zim from now until the heat death of the universe, it seems. Alright, not there. Alright, here, here, here. Let's type, uh... I, I guess T1 Glistener Elf. Probably nothing on me just yet, right? Probably nothing that's going to be on me, but I'm hoping... It's Zim, it's Zim, it's Zim. No, it's Birdle, we got someone else! Okay, okay. We got someone new. Mole? Six? Five? Four, three, two. All right, cool. Whale? Arena, please. Arena, we only have two more wins. Could you please cooperate for just a minute? That's almost literally how long it'll take if it gives me two good ones in a row. Almost. Alright, nothing yet. Nothing yet, but I'm holding out hope that we can find our Zim. We can find our Zim. Uh, if you are still watching this, help me find Zim, please. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find our anime character. The actual a I'm the... Maybe I'm not the protagonist, actually. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, you know what? Zim is Team Rocket. They keep coming back every episode. Well, except Team Rocket never wins, so... No, not quite. Not quite. They're, they are winning quite a bit. Even if by winning, I mean I'm conceding to them immediately. Close enough. Laker. Alright. Zim has officially logged off. Alright. Yes. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna mash since I know I'm keeping. Alright, good. Good, good, good.
Don't say hello. Don't say hello, Jay. Be antisocial. Be very antisocial. This is faster. Doing it this way. Please don't have the same thing. Please. Okay, cool. Full control. I'm surprised I haven't messed this part up any so far. I'm waiting for it to happen. Concede. Tibble trickery. Cast Tibble's trickery on me. I dare you. I dare you. Cast Tibble's trickery on my Tibble's trickery. I dare you. Nope. Okay. Never mind then. And then turn off full control so that hopefully it'll just pass us right. <gasps> or do I just concede here? All right. Yeah, I think I just concede. No, they they might concede on their own. Probably not though. Yes. Okay. No. No. Okay. I'm glad I kept going then. Jeez. Okay. This, this episode has everything. <laughs> this episode officially, this speedrun officially has everything. It has anime protagonist. It has winning on a molt 2. It has winning through Tibble's trickery on my Ulamog. It has everything. And then some, I suppose. Ah! Potentially, just one more, and then we'll be there. We can do this. Thank you for spending almost two, uh, not no, a little more than an hour and a half with me, folks. <sighs> you know, you know, I'm just glad that this is working out. El Rey, oh, ooh, okay, I've played you before. Let's go. Mo. Come on, deck. Come on. Just one more. I just need one more go at it. The reason I'm not tapping Mulligan is if they keep, I wouldn't like to accidentally Mulligan a hand that actually has it. Okay, here goes. Alright, we can do this. One more, I just need an untapped land and we can go off on turn three again. Untapped land, go. Untapped land, let's go. Pride mate, okay. Untapped land, untapped land, yes. Alright. Come on. Mash through. Alright, hit over the mog. Alright, there we go. Gonna hit their lands. And then turn off full control. That should be it. Yep. Concede. Please concede. Alright. Sub 40, but we are looking good for sub 45. Alright, trigger. What you got? Oh, please concede. Do you have any hope? Any hope at all? Alright. Should just uh, immediately go on here. It's fine. It's fine. Uh oh. Conclave mentor. Uh oh. How? Go touch. Oh no. Oh oops. 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 Okay, that's a touch screen issue. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. They didn't matter. Thankfully. 
Oh, I need to tap Mirrodin's core so it'll save time. Alright, here we go. So that I won't have to mash through each time. Alright, can you kill me? Alright, game three. Twelve? Okay, so thirteen here. Can they kill me? I did not mean to attack with that Allosaurus Shepherd. If that... Well, no, no, they're done. Okay. That's game. Game, set, match. 41-51. Let's save these splits. 41-51. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright. <laughs> oh, 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 oops. Oh, 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 oh. You can't see what's going on here. I'm just 4151 saving it so I don't forget it. Okay, so that happened. I guess let's have a celebratory orb. That's a thing, right? Celebratory orbs. Any, meeny, Miney, Mo, doesn't matter. Eventually I'll get to all of these anyway, so favorite color is green. I guess let's just do that. Celebratory orb. That sounds like when there's, there's people that uh, look for any excuse to have, to have some wine at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, we get Rise of the Dread Marn. Okay, fair enough. I like that. That's that's an actual wing con. A, a fun one, I'm assuming. It looks like a neat little build around. And then... More bears. Oh no, not more. This is my first. Okay, cool. Bears. Changeling bears. So... Sure. <laughs> that's... That's kinda neat. I am... Hyped. I am excited. I am... Having the time of my life over here. I don't know what to say. This deck is this deck is stupid. This deck is broken. We got sub 45. We went from an hour six to sub 45. We saved 15 minutes. <laughs> no, 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 not not 15 minutes. Wow. Oh my goodness. We saved 25 minutes. That's 41:51. I am. Ha. Ah, uh, you can see I'm tired. So, <laughs> you know. At least this was not the hardest deck in the world to pilot. Alright. Zim, I'm so sorry slash thank you. <laughs> that's that's it for now. I guess I'll I'll see you all later. Adios everyone.